All right, I'm going to show you Edward Fenninger, the non-dispensational heretic, Edward Fenninger, lying about and twisting what Psalms 32 verses 1 to 2 says. He uses it to try to say that David is saying you're saved by faith alone without works in the Old Testament. Totally twist the passage like any non-dispensational heretic will do. Watch this. Abraham, in Genesis 15, received justification because he received the imputation of righteousness. These guys can tell you don't receive imputed righteousness. And uh, you go to Romans 4 and you talk about David there. He was saying the blessings, uh, blessings of man receives imputation of righteousness. And whose sins uh, don't receive, does not receive impatient sin, and the sins are, and the sins are covered. And these guys go, oh, that was a prophecy. Well, what kind of prophecy is that when it says the sins are covered? Our sins aren't covered. What kind of prophecy is that? It's not prophecy. They have to make stuff up. They talk about Lot. Brian Denver says Lot wasn't even saved. Oh, he's type of New Testament Christian loses everything but his salvation. Well, Old Testament saints aren't supposed to be able to get into heaven without anything. But it has, it has to show something that works, a perfection of faith. This is a typical scripture that non-dispensational heretics like Ed Fenninger will twist, and just non-dispensational heretics in general. And I say Ed Fenninger is a non-dispensationalist because he claims to be a dispensational believer, yet he teaches the satanic heresy that salvation is the same in every dispensation. That's a satanic non-dispensational heresy. Okay, David is a, is a typology of a New Testament Christian. Of course, Ed Fenninger denies that Psalms 32 verses 1 and 2 is a prophecy. He comes out and denies it because it would contradict his satanic heresy that salvation is by faith in every dispensation. But David is a typology of a New Testament Christian. In Romans chapter 4, verses 6 through 8, Paul is quoting what David wrote in Psalms 32, verses 1 to 2. Let's read it, because Ed Finninger would not quote it. Uh, and I'll show you why he probably didn't quote it. Or probably why he didn't quote it, I'll say it that way. It says, uh, Psalm 32, verses 1 to 2. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Okay? Notice something. Notice how David does not say anything about being saved without works. Okay? Paul said that David describeth the blessedness of the man. David is describing an event in the future. If David was saved by works, he would have said, he would have mentioned in that passage, those two verses that, Something about not being saved by works. David is describing what would happen in the future. That is why in Romans chapter 4, verse 6 through 8, Paul says, David describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness, righteousness without works. Paul is not saying that David was saved the same way we are today. Um, he's describing a future event. He's describing how future Christians would be saved. Because again, David is a, a typology of a New Testament Christian. If David was saying that people in the Old Testament were saved the same way we are today or by faith alone, which is funny because that term faith alone does not appear in scripture. Ephesians 2.8 says grace through faith, not faith alone. Uh, but if David was saying that, we're saved by, that they were saved by works or without works in the Old Testament, it would contradict Ezekiel 3.18-21, Ezekiel 18.20-27, Ezekiel 33.8-9, and many other scriptures which clearly teach a faith and works system in the Old Testament and contradict the satanic non-dispensational heresies of Ed Fenninger. And, of course, Ed Fenninger cannot handle Ezekiel 3. He has to say, well, it's about physical salvation. Um, verse 20 says, dying in their sins. It talks about the righteous man who turns from his righteousness and he dies in his sin. That's what Ezekiel 3.20 talks about. What does it mean to die in your sin? You go to hell. So you have a righteous man turning from his righteousness and dying in his sin. You lost your salvation in the Old, in the Old Testament. But Ed Fenninger can't handle that because it contradicts his satanic non-dispensational heresy. So I just wanted to just show you how Ed Fenninger lies and twists scripture to prove his satanic heresy that salvation is always the same in every dispensation. So don't be deceived by this little heretic Ed Fenninger. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.